much more competitive effort yeah. tonight, Coach. Uh, what would you like back about that OT period, or what would you have done differently with it to do again? Um, exactly what I told the guys. Uh, we, we were doing a lot of good throughout the course of the game, and we had a stretch in the third quarter where we just took our foot off the gas. And that's all it takes with a good team on their home floor. Um, took our foot off the gas, and then starting overtime, we had two straight turnovers. So just things that we can clean up. And, um, you know, like I said, a lot of good, but uh, this is a game that we easily, not easily, but we know we, we, we could have played a bit better down the stretch. But give them credit. Um, once again, they played their style, um, rebounded the ball, they shot threes, they got to the free throw line, all things that they do. Speaking of turnovers, they were about even, but the points off turnovers were a massive difference. How much did that impact the outcome? A lot of our turnovers are live ball turnovers. And anytime you turn the ball over and you just give it to them, they're getting dunks and threes. And with a team like this, we have to value possessions. And I just didn't think we, we did a good enough job of, of uh, valuing the basketball down the stretch. Yeah, and Larry gets the big block there at the end of regulation, but there was about 0.8 seconds left. Did you get an explanation from the refs why that you guys didn't get the ball after that with 0.8 seconds left? Uh, he didn't tell me. He just said that there's no time left on the clock. So that's, that was their explanation. And just from your vantage point, just how huge was that play by Larry? That was huge. Um, excellent job on Larry's part, timing it up. Uh, it was a close play, but... You know, he, he that's something that Larry does well is that he has great time and went up, blocked the shot. I'm glad it went our way. We just needed to take advantage of the overtime, and, and we didn't. The, the last play in overtime where uh, CJ misses the three, it seemed like it was a little bit of a constant scramble after trying to get the ball in uh, three times. Was that what you guys wanted on that play? Um, or was it kind of a broken play and he just kind of had to make the most of it? On which play? On the, the 130, 127 when you guys were trying to inbound it on the – on the opposite side of the bench, uh, the three point. We didn't. We just. Three in we just didn't execute um, good enough to get the ball in bounds and get a shot off. And uh, you know that's probably more on me than than those guys. What did you just think about your defense compared to two nights ago? I thought it was better. It was a lot better than it was the first time we played these guys, but not good enough to win. And um, we have to move forward to how we play defensively. And this team, they challenge you. They got a ton of guys that uh, are like-sized guys that can all shoot threes, can put the ball on the floor, get to the paint. And um, that's what they do. So give them a, a, a ton of credit. They won two games on their home floor. We just did the same thing against Phoenix. And um, the West is competitive. This is what it's going to be every night. And even beyond the block by Larry, he had the tip out that ended in the Trey Murphy three yeah. right before yeah. that. He was boxing out Ralph Walker Kessler like a madman in OT. I mean, just, just how much does he make those winning plays for you guys that don't always register in the box score? Huge, huge for Larry, huge for our team. Um, offensive rebounding is something that we do well. So we knew if the shot went up late, everybody crashed and tried to get an extra possession. We had time. Trey hits a big shot. And um, once again, a lot of good from this game, a lot to learn from. Uh, we'll continue to improve. Uh, but I, I definitely like our competitiveness, our effort uh, from games one to game two was a lot better. Thanks, Coach. Okay, thank you. Thanks,